At a young age, she was, she was diagnosed with cancer. From day one, she never complained about it. She developed that attitude that she was going to beat this disease no matter what. When your child is diagnosed with cancer, you're put into a community that you don't want to be a part of. But within that community is a family. There's no way to, to know what that feels like unless you've gone through it yourself. So to be able to connect with other parents and talk about what's next. And then to see the success stories. It's a beautiful, wonderful thing and it gives you hope. She's happy to go on hospital visits with me so she can show other kids that they can beat this disease too. I tell patients like you can't give up and you should always be strong. You know, when you're first diagnosed, you're thrown into a new world where you're not familiar with anything. And I thought that if we took Leah's experience and we put it in a form of a book, we could help a lot of families out and help them understand the type of things that we did in order to make it over those humps. My book is about how cancer can be a bad thing for little kids and how it can make you pass away sometimes. And some kids don't pass away. I feel proud of myself that I wrote the book. It means the world to them that someone like that, that they will see on TV, actually cares enough to come and see them and knows them. How you doing? Good. If you talk to a long-term survivor of childhood cancer, most of them will say, I got to meet so-and-so, I got to go to this football game. Those are the things that they really remember. When you turn on the news, you always see the terrible things that happen. There's so much good that they don't broadcast. I want like other kids to feel better from cancer, and I want them to be a survivor like I was. You know that we, we're rooting for you. you know, Thank you. <laughs> I felt the real connection when I met you the first time, just the type of energy that you have. You know, you can tell you're not the type of person to let a lot of things hold you down. So yes. this disease picked the wrong person to fight with. I know.